Hello everyone, how is it going? This is Scramble from Emotionless Crypto Trading. Welcome to my new Bitcoin's price analysis video presentation. Today is 23rd of November and we're heading towards a decent day where the market is looking for recovering. With a total market cap of $2.6 trillion for the entire space, the 24 hours volume is quite low at the moment, $120 billion. BTC is sitting slightly above $57,000 with an average of minus 5.11% within the last 7 days. Today we got the altcoins moving a little better, such as Ethereum and Binance coin. Meanwhile, BTC is you know, averaging you know, just above zero or under zero with the percentage and change for the last 24 hours. And that's not the worst sign out there. Meanwhile, we do have certain cryptocurrencies that have been pumping pretty well and they were aggressive on the markets. We can strongly see that there is a temporary bottom out there, which are, um, which is looking to be monetized by a whole lot of the people. Uh, we do have a very, very good moment for Crypto.com, which has been gaining a lot within the past period. And this is a true proof and sign how the markets can go very, very aggressively uh, when they start moving, which is actually the only question we should have. Going towards the charts, which is extremely important for us, we have the one hour candlestick for our presentation today, which is going to be a pretty straightforward video on the points that we care about. So here we are. This is short term analysis in details. It's clearly in a downtrending um, channel that we're into with a couple of fake outs that meant acceleration for the bears into an area where we had a lot of the market orders coming in from Wells and exchanges that successfully pushed the price of the market back into the channel, such as this specific fake out, which has been an acceleration downwards that obviously has been bought back and we're back in the game. What is important afterwards is that we've got supported on the support line of this downtrending uh, support line that I've been talking about along the way forming a strong double bottom with the one Fibonacci which is located at $55,500. This has been a very strong support which at the moment is our temporary point of structure. Other than that, we do need to be keep in consideration a possible resistance within the golden pocket area and that's line up between the two Yellow lines that we have right there means around sixty thousand and slightly above sixty thousand dollars. We got to expect resistance, and on the other side, obviously, we have the green line, which is coming downwards from the upper side, and that's the downtrending resistance line. And of course, there is one more information here, which is extremely important. That once we successfully get out of this, you know, accumulation of resistance pressure, we're going to be able to trade above sixty thousand dollars. That will permit us a movement till 63,600 up to 64,000 dollars. Anything between this zone is going to act as a resistance. So anything between those two lines, the place I've marked will be acting as a resistance against us. We're not going to be able to move out of these places uh, extremely quickly. That's why we got to dedicate time and hopefully see December in a massive move for the altcoin market for which we'll need BTC to slowly gain momentum. And we are going to see that. On the other side of the things, as soon as we consolidate above $60,000, which will be the first target, the two yellow lines, we've got to cross that and consolidate above. So a consolidation above would mean to break out of them. Whether we do it like this or whether we break out in any other form, like directly from here, revisit our two sort of away uh, ye uh, yes, yellow lines, uh, we need to bounce back from them. That's one of the criteria, which is very, very important that all the movements got to be very five bit retracements and supports at high level. This is an extra verification process for the trading and for the necessity of having a sort of a way high probability position. Therefore, as soon as we bounce back on the yellow line, we can expect basically the movement towards the other zone, which is on the upper side, located nearly $64,000. As soon as we get out of that, we're going to talk about two major tops here that have been significant for us. 
One is at $66,000. The other one has been forming a double top on the all-time high. But whatever, we're going to get out there BTC. And the time will break out of the all-time high that we're in right now. We'll cross $80,000. So that's the only thing we have to keep in mind at the moment. Um, and in the meantime, of course, the altcoin market is going to explode. So the thing is, are we going to get the late November massively bullish along with the whole month of December? Or this is going to be a situation that might be slightly different, which means that November is going to be only for the altcoins and the BTC will pretty much go sideways. Meanwhile, it will pump within December along with the whole market. This is uh, a very important topic. So let me just clear up the charts a little bit and go into the uh, daily candles, which we can see here how nicely we have retraced. And every time we did that during the process of a pump, we've been basically moving back. Take a look at that. It has happened three times. So every time we dipped, we have been pumping back. And you can see that over there as I presented you. Um, it was actually the same thing here. You know, uh, we have been pumping back pretty aggressively afterwards. So we're on the good road. We're on the good track. And there's nothing to be fearful at the moment, especially for the daily. Weekly looks also decent. Uh, there's nothing to be uh, fearful here as well. We're pretty fine on the weekly. We can expect something like that on the weekly right now. Uh, that's why I said, you know, December should be exactly what we see here. Three or four weeks uh, starting by the next week, uh, you know, we should be in green. And then the monthly, which is slightly different. Well, monthly has been closing all time high. That's why I have no fear about it. Uh, whatever we're going to get out of here within the seven days, if we you know, not going to close above 61 to make this a, a green candlestick, which is not going to be a big deal at the end of the day, guys. This is just, you know, 6.63% to increase in price. And that's definitely feasible within the last seven days and several hours of the month. Uh, however, uh, the current situation of this candlestick is bullish, guys. So the monthly candlestick is bullish for the BTC. There's nothing to be fearful um, about it here as well. Now, this is a quick video straight to the point with the current situation on short term discussion, most likely, especially in the one hour candlesticks. And I'm going to get back to you tomorrow as well with another video. In the meantime, for those of you looking to join my one on one coaching program, make sure to check out scramblecoaching.com. Feel free to watch the video and see how it works. This is one-on-one -on -one directly with me um, during between four to six weeks where I'm going to take you by hand and teach you how to trade. Uh, you can register now and find out more details on the price and all that stuff, as well as we do have the uh, done for you full trading service through API, which means that we're executing the trades uh, that we do in our business for you as well through API connection. Um, simply, you can see more details about it in my trading videos. For example, here, $1.3 million on Cardano, $5.9 million in profit in a bay, and all sorts of videos that I have on my primarily YouTube channel, guys, uh, for which you can find the links in the comments area and description area of this video. So that's pretty much all about today's presentation. Make sure to check out for all the necessary resources that you need. And one thing is something that I'd like to underline is that you should only and only act based on beta, nothing else. That's pretty much all, guys. See you in my next video. Have a beautiful day.